Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal. One more final video on my product test of the Tracky GPS tracker. I've been using it for luggage tracking on my itinerary from the USA back to Israel. Being extremely impressed by it. I put both a Tracky and a Tile in my suitcase before departing to compare and contrast. And Tracky does offer a worldwide SIM. It's $20 a month on top of the cost of the device. So we just landed in Israel here. If I scroll down to uh, Tracky, we can see I manually... So the one critique I would have is it's supposed to be updating by itself every minute. It doesn't seem to be doing that. I need to push uh, for updates. Um, but in any event, it's good enough for me that every time I pushed it, it succeeded in reporting. That's Ben Gurion Airport in Israel, as you can see from the address here. So that means it's working in Israel, which is the one thing I was worried about was that capability outside of uh, worldwide sim coverage you can see the battery report is 24 percent it started at 100 of course a full charge um, we've been in transit on this itinerary for an unusually long time because we were rebooked twice so it actually took a day an entire 24 to 36 hours longer to get here so effectively this thing's been in my luggage for uh, three days at this point so really really not bad it survived the trip and based on the battery life I could expect probably another day and a bit before it would run flat. So definitely good enough for a long international journey. To compare and contrast, let's go into my tile here and we'll see, as you can see, um, I need to turn on the location services to give it its best chance, but it hasn't yet through its outer range network uh, picked up on my luggage tiles. Now my hard case is sitting right next to me here so it's going to find that but my samsonite and my duffel which are my hold luggage two items in whole luggage those are the ones that the tracky is actually in the samsonite and it's already reported and as you can see um the tile has not yet succeeded in uh in locating this it's still showing it as being uh in newark which was the last time i got a connection 11 hours ago so in this particular uh experiment it looks like uh Tracky has one, which is not surprising because uh, live GPS tracking is just going to be a much more robust technology than trying to hope when a Bluetooth device is out of range, other devices will pick it up and pass on that location, which is how uh, tile works when you're not in uh, Bluetooth low energy proximity range, which is only about up to 400 feet. I'm going to go through passport control now, so I hope that uh, video was useful. I've been very, very impressed with Tracky. It was very reasonably priced, about 20 bucks for the device. It's more expensive than Bluetooth tracking because you have to uh, um, you have to pay for the data SIM. Each unit requires a data SIM. Nevertheless, if you're really worried about a suitcase, a person, a vehicle, any kind of item that you need to track pretty rigorously, I think this has proved to be a very impressive system. Thank you guys for watching. More videos coming soon.